Humans have been going to space for about 50 years now. And while advances have been made to make getting there more efficient over time, launching from Earth to space still boils down to an explosion under a big piece of metal that catapults you into the atmosphere. Of course, there have got to be better ways to get into space than that. And one proposed idea is a space elevator, essentially an elevator that'll take you from Earth to orbit, just like the elevator that takes you from the bottom floor of the Empire State Building to the top. While launching stuff via rockets and fuel is very inefficient, a space elevator would be much more efficient to bring goods up to space without the need to expend so much fuel. So much expensive fuel, might I add. Unfortunately, as of now, it doesn't seem to be possible, but is it possible to do in Space Engineers? What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome to Space Busters, the series where we put all of the wacky ideas that you've got in Space Engineers to the test to see if they're possible or not. Today we have a pretty interesting idea and that is of course the space elevator which the uh, which you heard the narrator talking about there, who was totally not me, I'm not the narrator. Yes I am. Alright, are we ready? Let's get to it. Uh, now there is some merit in choosing this location that we're at right now, it's kind of at the top of a hill, well we're, well, we're actually at the bottom, but we get to make the flight all the way to the top of the hill. And the good thing about being at the top of a hill rather than at the bottom of a hill is that we don't have to make as big of a structure. And I imagine in real life, if there were a space elevator, it would probably be at the top of a hill as well, just so the, the structure wouldn't have to be as large. All right, here we are at the top of this mountain. It looks like that one might be marginally higher, but it's not that much to make a difference. Looks like our peak gravity is still 1.0, so we still have quite a bit of distance to go here. Now, I've got a couple of designs that I want to try out. The first idea we're going to try out is going to use pistons. Uh, because it seems like the most obvious choice for an elevator. They extend and you can ride them all the way up. The only problem I see with pistons is that they could make the server a little bit laggy. Not the server, but the... I'm not on a server. I'm on a, a, a solo world. They could make it a bit laggy. They could even crash the game. However, I did do some work with pistons a little while back and it, they didn't seem to cause much lag until you activated them, which is going to be uh, certainly interesting. But I think this is what we're going to try out first. The, the main issue that I see with pistons is that we essentially have to be in the middle of the whole structure in order to actually stand on the top piston. So it might be a little bit more difficult than we think um, with pistons. How far can a piston extend real quick? Let me build a little a little structure. Okay, so there we go. So that is the initial piston uh, length, and then that is the extended length right there, which means uh, what we're going to need to do is make our pistons go about a third of the way from here to the orbit area, or, or to where gravity is zero, to where our space elevator wants to end. We need to make it go about a third of the way there, then we can stand on this. Then when we press it, it'll go the rest of the two-thirds way up to uh, up to where we want it to end. Sounds pretty simple, right? Alrighty, so here's our area. We're going to do our first set of pistons in blue, because blue looks nice. So how far are we going to have to go? Oh, you know what? Actually, let's do a little bit of recon so we know about how far up we have to go. Alrighty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is roughly where we need to go. This is so high up. Okay, let's press K. We'll put a waypoint here. This is going to be goal. Oh gosh, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. <laughs> well, I've got multiple ways we can, so we will eventually get it done, but this is going to be goal one, or I guess just goal. We'll make it goal. Okay, so that is our goal. Let's get back to earth. Oh my lord. Can you guys believe this? Look how high that is. We need to go 37.83 kilometers, which means to get a third of the way there, we're going to need to go at least 10, 11, 12, roughly 12 uh, kilometers up in order to, get, to even have a chance to get there with these things. 12 kilometers of pistons. How far, how many pistons is that? Okay, there are 10 blocks here, and that's roughly 26 meters, which means that uh, that every block is roughly 2.5 meters, 2 point something Roughly 2.5 meters is how, how long every block is, so 5 meters is how long every piston is. Okay, it looks like, from my calculations, in order to get up there, we're going to need 12... no, 2,500 pistons. Seems doable. I don't know how many pistons we are up, but it feels like we're at like 100. I don't think we're that far yet. I think we're probably at like 20. <laughs> but uh, this is the start of a long journey. We've turned off the block limits, or I think we have at least, so uh, this should be interesting. Okay, it actually looks like it's swaying, so what we need to do is we need to run down and share inertia tensors. Oh my god, look how many that is. Whoo! Jesus. Well, I don't know if share inertia tensors worked, but uh, let's continue going with our piston, our massive piston structure. Let me see, are you guys still wobbling? Because if you guys are, then inertia tensors didn't... Mm. Okay, well that would be the inertia tensors working. You see how it's... Uh... Coming very stiff, not to make any jokes or anything. 
So we just need it to slow down, which it will eventually. Can I get swatted out of the way? Bye. Is she going over? Oh, she's going over. We need to share our nurse tensors. Hop on. No. <laughs> I need to get on. Let me on board. Okay. We're going to grab everything again. Pistons with me. We're going to call you guys cool crop again. Save that and share Inertia Tensors. All right, we're going to let that kind of settle down here because it's going to be a little bit weird for a few s <laughs> Oh, Lord, what's happening? My elevator. <laughs> this is an interesting development. It looks like our sim speed is actually going down with each one we place now. We're at 0.67 sim speed, and a couple ones ago we were at 0.8 sim speed so i imagine if we go any further we're, we're gonna we're gonna start to lose our sim speed here but i'll go as far as we can oh this is not good this is really bad oh i think we may have reached the uh the point of no return here nope actually it's swinging back okay that's good uh what i need to do is i need to share the tensors really quickly but this could cause an explosion because of how whacked up it is right now but let's grab all of our pistons you know what we're just going to call this a save Share nurse of tensors. Yeah, that's not good. Where did my elevator go? <laughs> um, elevator? I think it was too crazy that it actually deleted our elevator, which makes me kind of sad. Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's my second elevator. It didn't actually work out so well. So what happens if I went to all the pistons then and said uh, velocity equals like that? Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh lord. Well, it actually kind of worked. It elevated everything, but unfortunately it's going to make this cool little whip. And it's going to start whipping the earth, I imagine. Which is not good for elevators. Elevator shouldn't be whipping anything. It's not actually doing the whip. It's it's like teasing the whip. Like you think it's gonna whip it, but it's oh there it goes. Come on. Nope, I guess it's just gonna act like a cord. There it is. <laughs> like a snake with its tail cut off or something. Like a lizard with its tail cut off. Well that's that's our piston idea. So did the piston idea work? Well, I mean I, I guess it speaks for itself. <laughs> There's a couple of flaws with our uh, with our piston idea. Okay, well that's pistons. What if we use rotors? If I go to about half the way up to there and I use one rotor, I could somehow make it bend all the way down here. I could jump on it right there and then I can make the rotor bring me all the way up. Very rotisserie style. Rotisserie? Very ro rotor style. C cylindrical, like, I don't know. <laughs> In rotor fashion. Let's give that one a try. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we're going to use our creative tools to build ourselves a nice pylon that's going to go about as high as I can make it go here. Uh, we're going to want it to go super high. Wait, hang on. I lost it. Oh, no. That's not good. We're going to have to do this in, in sections. So we are using creative tools for this. Quite obviously, it's going to it's gonna make it go a whole lot faster just to uh, build this block. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to build in like 50 block increments or something. Oh, my God. I lost it again. Okay, how high are we? We're about as high as the pistons were, and we're actually... We're not, we're not noticing very much... Um, simulation speed drops which is really good i'm just going to keep going up like this we need to get about halfway to the thirty-six thousand, which is going to be a lot although maybe if we go about a third of the way we could make the rotor stop very suddenly and it would launch us into space that could work i mean it's only a one-way elevator at that point but it still gets you there without using a gigantic rocket which is inefficient All right, we're looking pretty good so far. We're at 0.62p gravity, which is really nice. Uh, we're only about seven kilometers up, which means we're not even a third of the way there. And already this thing is gigantic. We're about six kilometers up, almost seven. So we got to keep going. This is going to take a long, long time. All right, this right here is a pretty good height that we're at. Our p gravity is at 0.20, and it looks like we have 20 more kilometers to go for our goal. So, which means we're about, or we have, we have 18 more to go. We're about 18 there and 18 more to go which means this should be the appropriate height for our uh for our rotor that we're going to use for this iteration of the space elevator this is going to be very interesting 
Uh, we're gonna have to build a lot more blocks as well. I might, I might, uh, I might say. Okay, so that's going to be our rotor. And here we go. The first block. Look at that. The first block's been been placed. So essentially what the rotor is going to do is it's going to be very, very long on one side. It's going to swing down. And it's going to have like a chair at the end. It's going to swing down, collect the person, which is going to be me. Uh, and then it's going to swing back up and put them all the way over, over there. Now, the only thing is our rotor actually has to be long enough. It's actually going to be the same length as this. Or very similar. So it needs to be roughly 19 kilometers. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to press K. I'm going to call this um, new from current position. I'm going to call this one rotor. Rotor. Oh, roto. Rotor. There we go. I can't spell sometimes. Uh, rotor. That's going to be our rotor. And we're going to uh, build our arm along that side right there. This is going to be really interesting. I don't know if this one's going to work, but... Oh, we'll try it. We'll try it with all our might. You guys ready? Let's start the second half of this. I'm just going to keep building out like this. That, oh, did I just copy the whole thing? Oh, Lord. No, 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 no. Don't, don't crash my game. Please. Please, no. Oh, my God. Are you going to crash my game because I copied this? Why? Whew. Okay, we saved it. Oh, my gosh. That was scary. I'm slightly afraid of the weight that the rotors going to have to carry because I don't think the rotors can carry unlimited weight uh, all nilly, uh, willy nilly like that. So this is going to be interesting. But we'll try it. We'll, we'll see if we can get it to work. Look how cool that view looks, though. I've got to say, whether or not this is a success, this is really freaking cool. Oh, it's going down. Well, that means... The the rotor cannot carry all that weight. Let's see if we can go up here and give it some more strength and if that will actually help it. Your lower limit's also going to be 90. And I want you to velocity your way over to that. Oh god, please don't hit that. Please don't please don't touch that. <laughs> is it not strong enough? Oh no, maybe that is 90. Okay, what if I make it something else? Like uh how far are we, by the way? We're about 7 kilometers, and we need to be about 20 kilometers. So this is not spelling anything good for the rotor. What we could try and do is we could try and copy this. I copy this. What does it copy? Does it copy everything? Let's try and put it on the end of this. Can I put it right here and then turn it around? What, what, do, what, what will that do? Oh, oh, this is actually very helpful. Did this actually just copy the whole thing? It didn't copy the whole thing. I bet I bet you it copied only what was on the rotor. If that's what it did, that's actually extremely helpful. That saved me so much time. No, it actually copied the whole thing. Oh my god. I'm going way too fast. <laughs> it actually copied the whole thing. We don't want the whole thing. <gasps> Maybe that was a bad idea. I don't want any of this, uh, but I guess it's fine. Can I just, uh, yeah, turn that around, put that right there, see what happens. Oh, it's going forever. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Okay, so now if we go all the way to the end of this thing, we don't want to go all the way to the end of it. We just want to go kind of over here, about 19 kilometers. Let's go 18 kilometers just so that we have a little bit of room to work with. I don't want to go the full 19 because then, then we'll hit the ground. Okay, this, 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 this is good. This is good right here. This is a good cutoff point. Okay, right here. We're going to cut this off, and we're going to let that fall to the ground, I guess. Okay, so we're cutting that off. This is going to be the end of our elevator, per se. So let's press G. We're going to get a chair, and we're going to stick... Nope, chair. <laughs> not char. Is there not a chair? Seat. Space engineers, you're tricking me. Okay, we're going to grab a seat. Come back. Come back, Mr. Elevator. We need you. Okay, we're going to stick our seat right here. No, not like that. Like that. Yes. Like a normal person. Okay, seat's right there. Let's stick one of these on as well uh, while we're there. Get into our seat. Press... Can I not press that? If I press K, can I change stuff? Uh, oh, I actually can. Okay, let's get this started. We're going to see if we can do this. Okay, so we're going to turn the velocity to something very minuscule, like... Oh, something small. Like, yeah, that's that's good. Now, the thing about velocity, though, and this is, this is something that really scares me, is that uh, the speed that the rotor is going is not actually the speed that we're going to be seeing at... All the way at this end we're actually going to be seeing a speed that's much 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 faster and you'll actually see this so this is only going 
0 0.14 RPMs. And we could, we could in fact calculate how fast we'd go over here, but I'm not going to do that. We're just going to let it kind of, uh, kind of work itself out. All right. So negative 180, we're still on rotor lock. That's good. We want to go straight down. So we're going to put this to 90 for the upper and lower limits. Uh, we can't go that way. Oh, because upper limit. Okay, we're going to put this to 90. Deet, 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 deet. 90. We probably could have also done negative 2, whatever, 2 whatever it is. Negative, okay, 90. All right, are we ready? I think we are. I'm kind of scared. Oh, boy. 3, 2, the countdown started. 1, let's go. Is anything happening? I feel like we're going down. Our, our meters per second, our, like our speed's going up. So I think we are going down. This is interesting. Um, <laughs> okay, elevator, are you working? I think it is, because look, our our, um, our velocity is increasing and our, our distance from the center of the Earth is decreasing, which means we are going down. But this feels suspiciously slow. Um, did the game crash? I think the game might have actually crashed there. Oh no, wait, we're still here. We're still in this. No, we're, we're half in this. I was expecting a game crash at least at one of these times, but I was not expecting the game crash on this one. Wait, oh, what if I save and reload? Space Busters 2. Exit main menu, save the change before quitting. Yes. <gasps> Have we got her back? Space engineers, an error has occurred. And there's the crash. Take two. Let's see if she comes back. And there it is. The error. Okay, so rotors are definitely not going to work. They completely corrupted the world. That's not what we want to do. I've got another idea up my sleeve, though. Bear with me here. So what we're going to do first is we're going to copy this and see if that doesn't destroy the whole world. We're going to flip it upside down like that just to give us a nice... Uh, that should actually go all the way to the top since we were about halfway before we before we did it. Let's run all the way to the top or like fly all the way to the top as much as, or as, as well as we can. Okay, so here we are at our goal. So we did pass our goal and then some actually. So we, we went a little bit farther than we needed to, which is good. I think it's nice to, to overachieve a little bit. To show that, just, just to show that we can. Oh, don't fall all the way. No, 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 no. Okay, good. That right there, this block, this white block, is going to be this signifying uh, thing that we have successfully gotten to no gravity. If I press uh, X right now, there's no gravity. I'm not falling, even though my jetpacks are off. Alrighty. With the pylon done, or the pillar, or the column, as you want to call it, uh, with that done, it's time to move on to the elevator part of this. Alrighty, here we are back at base, and that is looking mighty far away. We got the rotor uh, thing up there. I don't know where our other marker is, the, the goal marker. It should be up there somewhere, but maybe the rotor one is uh, is encompassing it. But the rotor marker is about half is our halfway point. Okay, so in order to create this, let's build a nice little base around here, just to give ourselves a little bit of room to work with. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a wheeled vehicle that's going to essentially climb this. It's going to use wheels uh, to climb it like a monkey. And it's going to be very interesting. It might not work, but it might work. So for starters, we're going to lay down a landing gear. This is going to be the start of our thing. We're going to make sure that it's nice and uh, even with this. And a little bit far away, too. We don't really want it to be that close. Once we have that, we're going to go ahead and build our, uh, our craft, which is going to be pretty much just a platform with a bunch of inward-facing wheels that are going to be pretty much dug into this uh, so that the, the thing can actually climb up this. Now I don't know how well it's going to work because it's not going to be, um, or because the wheels are, are not really going to have any incentive to stay on this rather than just to fall, but who knows, it might work and that's what I am counting on. Uh, number eight uh, kind of wheels, what kind of wheels do we want? We could actually go with like really big wheels, like these ones. That might not be a bad idea. How big are these wheels? If I go, if, if I put one like right there for instance. That's a pretty big wheel, not going to lie, but that's a pretty nice wheel as well. That wheel might actually get us all the way up there. Let's try it. You know what? We're in creative mode. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> let's let's give it a go. Oh, no. Where did that one block go? I cannot tolerate blocks flying around everywhere, especially when the game could crash at any moment.
All right, here we go. Behold, the climber, the elevator, the climbing elevator, the rolling elevator, the wheel mobile. I don't know. I don't know what to call it, but it's essentially just an elevator. Uh, and I don't know if it's going to work because I don't know if it's just going to slip all the way down, which it could very well do. Uh, but we're going to try it out. So first, let's start by doing this, uh, the ceremonial removal. Well, I mean, that could have been better. Uh, it could have stayed where it was supposed to be, and that would have been amazing, and I would have loved that. But that's okay. That's why we have this little safety feature here, so it doesn't completely fall down. All right, how are our wheels looking? What would happen if... Okay, you know what I want to do? I want to make myself a little control panel for this elevator. We're going to put it right here. Beep, beep, beep. How high are we if we stand up? Eh, we're about that high. Okay, we're going to put a control panel here the correct way. And the control panel is going to have... Oh, we should probably put a seat as well so we can control things. All right, I think we've got everything set up. So we have a little cockpit over here. I really wanted the seat to be able to control things, but unfortunately the seat only allows you to make poses and stuff. So that's not going to happen. But we do have this right here, which should allow us to, uh, to control some stuff. Well, let's start by removing this. This is our little safety block, which would... Uh, pretty much keep the tower from falling if we accidentally right clicked something because that would be bad okay so we're gonna hop in here so now we have a bunch of options can I go into V mode yeah I want to be able to see from out here okay so we've got number one slot we've got increased speed that'll increase the speed of all of our wheels which is pretty much what we want them to do unfortunately they're not they're having trouble actually you know what I didn't actually even consider what direction do we want them to go decrease speed we need to actually figure this out uh, okay Let's test them all out one by one. Okay, so now all the wheels should be fine. I inverted the ones that needed to be inverted, uh, so we should be good. Uh, so number one is increase speed, number two is decrease speed, number four and five are increase and decrease the strength, I think, and number six and seven are increase and decrease the power. Uh, and then if we go to slot number two, we can actually increase and decrease the uh, the distance that they are from each other. So if I press number two, they each get a little bit farther. And if I press number one, they each get a little bit closer. So are we ready to go? Well, let's see if we can actually even get this thing to work. Okay. it's It looks like it's trying. Let's try and increase the power. I don't know. Decrease power. I want to try and increase the uh, the strength quite a bit. Give it a little bit more torque. We're, we're, we're spinning. We're doing some some stuff here. Increase the power a little bit. Increase that again. Let's increase the speed. And then let's maybe... Oh, there we go. Oh, we're going. We're going. <laughs> oh, no. It, it, it It's half working. That's the fastest I can go. If I jump in here. And uh, let's decrease this a little bit. Maybe go back in here. It's sort of working. Okay, you know what? You know what? Stop, 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 stop. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Modifications are needed. Go back to zero. Modifications are needed. I think we almost have it, though. Uh, all right, give me a few seconds. Alrighty, guys. At this point, I've added a couple more uh, wheels to this thing so that this can be a little bit more stable. Let's see if this one works. Uh, let's increase our speed a little bit. Well, first, let's increase our power. There we go. And speed. I want to increase our distance as well a little bit. There we go. Get it locked in there. Maybe one more. Eh, maybe that was a little bit too much. Okay, it's locked in there now. We should be good. Let's increase our strength. Bump that baby up quite a bit. And this one as well. Oops. This way. Okay, and let's increase our speed. Uh, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> Why are we not? Okay, let's try and go in a little bit then. Uh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Getting some distance. Oh, look at this. The wheels are becoming detached. Oh, oh, decrease, 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 decrease. Okay, 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 come on. You can do this. Increase a little bit. No, no, increase a little more. Keep it going, keep it going. There we go. Okay, we just got to tweak this a little bit. Every time it slows down, we need to tweak it. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Don't freak out, don't freak out. Oh, this is so scary. We don't want to get it accidentally going the wrong direction, but we also don't want it to freak out like it is right now. We'll see how high we can go. How about that? Because I don't know that we're going to make it all the way. Just because of how much we have to tweak this. Or I can maybe just leave it here and not tweak it at all. 
and let it just like gun straight up the thing. How are we doing? We're actually doing really well here. Well, let's let's hang out then. Let's let's just let it sit right here and we'll we'll see how our elevator's doing. I'm going to monitor though. I'm going to stay here right with you, elevator. If you start doing crazy stuff. My hands off the keyboard right now. I will say that. So I I fully trust this thing. This is scary. This is I I will say this is very scary for me. <laughs> Because this elevator, Space Engineers is a bit finicky. Although, maybe it's just that it looks finicky and it's not actually that finicky. But, um, things can fly off tracks very easily, it seems. So, I'm a bit scared as to that, uh, as to how that goes. Uh, but it seems like our elevator is working so far. I mean, we're really high up right now. In fact, let's press tab, see how high we up we are. How, up, how high up we are. We're actually maintaining a, uh, a constant speed as well, which is really nice. Uh, how, how high up are we right now, exactly? We are three kilometers up, so we're, we're getting there. This is pretty nice. Okay, well, I feel like I'm at the point where I can just put this on a time lapse now and let you guys sit and watch this thing go up. So let's get a nice viewing angle, like this, maybe. And we'll, uh, maybe, like this. Yeah, this is pretty cool. And let's time lapse this. We've been going for a long time and we're not even almost halfway there. Well, we're almost halfway. We're about a third of the way there. Our peak gravity is 0.31 and dropping. This is about the height that we did our, our orbit last episode. If you haven't watched that one, go check it out. That was that was fun. That was a really fun one. This one's fun too, I've got to say. I, I didn't think this would work. <laughs> I really didn't think that this would work as well as it is right now. It's working so well that it's got a constant speed. Like, we don't even have to change anything. It's staying at a speed limit, which is amazing. I don't know what's going to happen once we reach the top, though. I, w I will say that. But I'm going to stick this uh, back in time-lapse mode and let it just kind of go. Enjoy. Alright, we're getting somewhat close to the top. Our P-gravity is only 0.07, and 0 0.05 is where it cuts off, so you can tell we're getting uh, very close. At this point, you're probably thinking, there have got to be thrusters on that thing, right? There are not. <laughs> it's really impressive that this is managing to go this far. There are no thrusters on this thing. In fact, some of the wheels don't even look like they're attached. <laughs> look at this. <coughs> it's like the top four wheels are doing all the work, and then the bottom four wheels are just being used to, uh, to hold on. But yeah, we're, we're getting extremely close here. I don't know how we're, like, if we're going to be able to stop this thing. It might just launch straight off into space. That's something that could happen. What I'm going to do, though, I'm going to try and lower the speed a little bit. And see if that helps us out any. I don't know that it will. Friction might help us out. We might actually, once we get really close, we might actually uh, bump down the speed even more to try and get it towards the, uh, uh, in the negative range so we can actually stop this thing. Because we do have a little bit that we can go after we get to the, the top point. But this is pretty cool. P gravity is still at 0 0.5. We've still got a couple hundred meters to go. But that's that's pretty much nothing in the grand scheme of things. We've come three or no 37,000 meters. So a couple hundred meters ain't going to stop us. We're almost there. Come on, a little bit more. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Slow into a stop. And here... We go, and there it is. P gravity is zero. Let's stop ourselves. Can this thing actually fully stop? No, it, it has a little bit of trouble. I don't know if it can, let, let's let's see. Because our P gravity is zero right now, so it, the friction should stop it. Now we're speeding up a little bit. So there we go. Look at this massive monstrosity of a, it looks small, but it's actually pretty big. 
It's a gigantic elevator and it came that far. Look what this looks like. <laughs> that is insane. There was a little bit more we could have gone. So that's actually the top, but that over there is where the gravity cuts off. So I'm going to count that as a win right there. Are you still moving? Yeah, so it looks like we can't actually completely stop it. So what I would do if I wanted to stop it is I would do something like uh, like this with the um, the pieces. Like I'd stick something there, and then I'd just remove it if I wanted to go. And that would be that would be an effective way of stopping it. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I guess we can answer the question now. Is a space elevator possible? We tried it with pistons. We tried it with rotors, and finally we tried it with a machine that literally scales a column <laughs> a, a single column that goes all the way up so is it possible yes with pistons it might be possible if you have a supercomputer or something with rotors it might be possible if you have more patience than me and have more skill i guess but with this it's possible with only an elevator looking machine scaling up the thing just like an elevator does so i'm gonna call that space myth busted <laughs> I, i'm like what am i gonna say? i'm gonna call that space myth busted so that's that so if you guys have any other... Actually, is this... You're damaged. <gasps> Damage has happened. But anyways, if you guys have any other um, other suggestions for any more Space Busters episode, I've got a couple of suggestions already that I'm going to, uh, to look into. But if you have anything that you think would be really cool to show off uh, or really cool to test to see if it works, please post that in the comments and I'll definitely check that out. I also do want to promote the uh, the Discord channel as well as the Patreon. If you want ships named after you and, and stuff like that, the Patreon's a place to go and check out. You can, uh, you can contribute like a dollar and you have a chance to be like a ship name or something in, in Space Engineers <laughs> or a character name in some other game. But uh, but yeah, really cool place to check out. Um, but anyways, if you guys like that episode of Space Busters, uh, please leave a comment saying that you liked it and hit the like button as well. Do all of the awesome things. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Space Busters. I should have a jingle. Da -da 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 -da, Space Busters. I don't know. <laughs>